Guys, guys, check this out. Burger King's new value, have it your way, menu. One dollar. If you got four pesos in your car, one dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar! Don't, oh, don't forget to get the dip dip, too, guys. And just as an insurance policy, you guys know how I roll. Don't tell anybody, but just in case. <laughs> Let's go down the hatch, guys. I also have an update on the doggy fostering a dog. Let's get into it. Roadie Foodie Fam, how are we doing, guys? Second video of the day. Happy New Year. Haven't done a double in a long time. So if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. Roadie Foodie, we're a bunch of foodies from Rhode Island. I like to do these little intros for new folks because we're getting so many new subscribers uh, so fast. So a bunch of foodies from Rhode Island. We love to do reviews of new things that come out, but we also do what we're really known for is uh, hitting up local restaurants. So, not only do we feature Rhode Island, but we're gonna start branching out, doing some, some traveling. Beepity bop, beepity boops. Okay, so, first, dollar menu, have it your way. One peso, dos peso, tres peso, cuatro peso, son. And again, just like I said in the thing, don't forget your dip dip, right? This zesty sauce at BK, it's actually not that bad. Kinda like it. Um, so we're gonna smash down some of this, and then also, I'm gonna give you guys an update on uh, the um, fostering. I'm fostering a pregnant pup that literally just gave birth. And I'm gonna put a video of like a quick, actually, no, it's not a video. Is it a video? Yeah, it's a video. Quick video, 11 pups and counting. Oh my God. So I'm gonna be fostering all that. So I'm trying to get my spare bedroom set up for all that, but we'll get into that in a little bit, okay? All right, guys, let's go down the hatch here. BK all day. So they got the chicken sando here, a little bit of mayonnaise, huh? Wish there was a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, oh, okay, here we go. They put a little extra. So I actually got this for this. I learned my lesson. I think I've tried their chicken sandwich. It's a little dry, I'm not gonna lie. So what I like to do is I like to get some of the dip dip and pre-dip dip it, right? Pre-dip. Just a little dip, just a little bit. Just a little bit to make it happy. All right, guys, down the hatch. Come eat with me, all right? Let's do it. Happy New Year. Hope everything is going good. Ship it. Mm. Got the Papa Fritas. Mmm. Mmm. Really bizarre that a lot of places, I know, you're like, Loop, of course, there's different places. But I think BK is one of the only places that, it looks like they put pepper or something spicy in their breading for their fried chicken. Oh, it's not fried, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Again, guys, all this, $4. You can't go wrong. Literally. This is my change over here. Look, I probably have four dollars and quarters over here. I keep that for tolls. All right, so let's keep going here. Beepity boop. Mmm. Not bad. Not that for a dollar. All right, here we go. We got a little. What do we have here? Oh, okay. It's a little bacon cheeseburger. Mustard ketchup on top. Saddy pants on the bottom. I never like to eat the breads like this. I'll take a couple bites for you guys, but like this extra bread, I just it's never for me. Let's do it. Here we go. Down the hatch. One dollar. Ship it. Mmm. Wish the cheese was a little. How come that every time I order like a Whopper or something from uh, from BK, the cheese is never melted? How do any employees from BK? Let me know what I need to say in the thing. You know, some people want like fresh like fresh fries. You gotta go be like, let me get that without salt. So if they have to make like a fresh batch. Like, what can I say 
in the intercom thing, it'd be like, I want some melted cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think also that's an older patty too. I don't know. <laughs> That patty was made a couple hours ago. Mm. That's okay. We're humble. This is a humble channel. We're not bougie around here. Before we get into... You know what? Let's just get into the McBang part of it. McBang to us is basically we talk like family. So if you're here for the review, you have four dollars. Beep beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. Wherever you live, your um, your tax might be seven cents on the dollar. Some are eight. I live in an area where it's eight because the state wants to get their penny. Uh, and then we have. To, I'm sorry, the city wants to get their penny, and the state's got to get their seven percent. So you might live somewhere else where their taxes are a little, a little bit lower. Um, so go try it out. Not bad. Again, I'm a big fan of dollar menus because sometimes I've been there between paychecks. You're like, whoa, got to spread this out a little bit. So go check them out guys. BK all day. Now mukbang part. Let's talk about the doggy. Thank you so much for join joining guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for coming. If you're here for that reviews over. All right, mukbangy time. Guys, I have the cutest video. So last night, I got a phone call last night that Eden had given birth. By the way, this is best case scenario because if Eden was with me already, I'm fostering a dog for those that are just catching up. Um, she had four puppies last night. That was or this morning. I, we got the uh, they, they sent over a text with an update. If I would have had Eden before, like a couple days ago, those puppies would have been born in the house and that would have been a whole other oh my god i'm like i'm glad they're with, with professionals right now so um in the next 24 to 48 hours which today after this video i'm going to go puppy proof my room i'm stopping by the rescue and i'm picking up a fence i'm picking up uh uh newspaper uh you know those pee poo pads and i have to make like five or six layers and then roll them up as they, as they use them uh, and pick up a couple books. Uh, but here, I wanted to show you guys a quick clip. Check this out. How freaking adorable is that, son? By I counted 10, 11-ish in that video. Uh, the rescue doesn't know if she's done yet. So there might be more. That's insane. They told us like the average might have been like not eight or nine puppies. So we'll see, guys. Oh, my God. My house is just, it's not going to be quiet for like the next two months. But that's okay. I love it. Again, uh, we're, I'm doing this for Lola. I love her so much. I miss her so much. Um, and I know that this is something that she would have wanted me to do. Okay. All right, guys, check this out too. <laughs> I forgot that I put it in the intro. Every time I go somewhere, I always get the insurance policy. I know I like Whoppers. So just in case none of this really uh, hit or as the young kids say slap, I wanted to get a little WAP action. All right. Wait. <laughs> Let's roll that back. I wanted to get a little Whopper action. Oh my God. Can't even use old school acronyms anymore. And nickname shortcuts. These young kids take it away. Look at that. Mmm. Nothing wrong with a little, a little. Look at that. That's okay. Yeah. Whopper is just where it's at. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah, baby. You guys ready? One minute ASMR skis. And then we'll get into a little update, and then we'll do the final word of the day. Okay? 
two videos in a day, guys. Wow, happy new year. I haven't done this in a long time, like I said. All right, one minute ASMR, fake little mini ASMR starts now. Bibbidi boop! Ugh. Poppity pop. I feel real good there. Perfect. All right, guys. So, quick camping update. I'm going to be finishing the window covers today. I'm also going to be in the lookout. On the lookout. On the lookout. On the lookout. By the way, oh, real quick. Guys, that Dunkin' Coffee really works. I don't know if it was a placebo effect, but I have definitely had way more energy today uh, with that extra 20%. Maybe that's all I really needed was a little 20% little jump off on the Dunkin' Supercharged Coffee. So I might be ordering my coffee supercharged every single time. Maybe I should order it with an espresso shot. Oh my God, never mind. I don't wanna have a heart attack. Um, so guys, I am looking around. There's so much information online. I am currently trying to find the perfect, and maybe there is no the perfect, but I'm trying to find two things. One, I'm trying to find a really good quality um, two-person tent, right? Kind of an all-weather I can use it in the summer, winter type of tents. They might not even exist, but I'm pretty sure they do. I know I need to research the R value, right? Which is how cold and, and uh, things will protect you, like the insulation. Um, and I also, uh, the other thing I need to research is sleeping bags. And I also need to find a really good, well-priced, this is absolutely amazing how expensive these things are. You know those plastic things? These things that are made out of this? That are just shaped into like a little bubble with two little cheap locks on them that go above the cargo boxes? Guys, those are like five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. I was like, are you freaking serious, dude? Good for them though, they're making that money. Because those things are mass produced using plastic with some little cheap locks on it. I am in definitely in the wrong business. So shout out to, uh, is it Thule and some other companies? Good for you. I'm, I'm trying to keep my eye out on Craigslist and uh, Facebook Marketplace for a really well-priced one uh, that's kind of in the New England area. So guys, you guys see any online? Email me the link, rodifoodie at gmail.com, por favor. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Also, shout out to Elliot Family of Seven and Hodgepodge Food Adventures. My challenge is still out for you guys to do the Rody Foodies' very first dip dip challenge. Uh, that's a couple videos ago. Can't wait to see you guys do it. And shout out to the to the channels that have already done it. If you've done it, um, I'll, I'll put you on the community link and we'll make it rain that way. Okay, guys. I love you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Two videos today. Freaking love it. Um, I am going to go. I have to go uh, puppy proof and mom proof. Because uh, I have between 11 plus puppies and one mommy foster dog that's coming in to my house in the next 24 to 48 hours. Obviously, I'm going to be uploading videos for you guys because... 
I'm excited. I know you're going to get excited. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, if you can do me a favor, too, in this new year, I'm really going to start pushing. Um, everyone, if you can do me a favor, just give this. You can even give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Just do something on it. So thumbs up, thumbs down, and then just leave a comment. Just say, hey, Loop. Hey, Roadie Foodie fam. Like some of you do. I love you so much for that. And um, and I always ask questions in the videos, too, guys. So down below, like, kind of let me know where you guys can find the Thule or, like, some well-priced type of jump-offs for cargo nets. Not nets. Uh, boxes on top of the car. And also sleeping bags and tents. My mind is beep a boop All right. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao. Hey, fam. You know, I... Kind of the reasons I wanted to start these little, and I don't know if I'm going to do them in every single video, but, um, you know, it kind of inspired me to leave kind of a final thoughts and kind of inspirational positivity, you know, self progress type of little sayings at the end of these videos. But, um, you know, I hope you enjoy them again. I don't know if I'm going to continue them or, or maybe spread them out a little bit. But I hope that you enjoy them. I know most of you have. So thank you so much for the feedback. Um, kind of the last word today is, you know, that you need to kind of mindset is that many of them out there are, are not going to understand your new mindset. We're going into a new year, new you, right? As much as everyone hates that saying, we all kind of like it at the same time. So many of them are not going to understand your new mindset, your job is to find a way to be okay with that. See, they're used to the old you, but we're always works in progress. So again, they're not gonna understand your new mindset, and that's okay. Your job is to find a way to be okay with that. No explanations needed, no trying to revert back. The key word here is forward, and you being okay with that. Have a great day, guys. And again, Happy New Year. I'll see you tomorrow.